Good morning. Uh, I'm Clayton Hainsworth. I'm the uh, director of MIT Video Productions uh, here at MIT. We're a video production team internal uh, that provides all sorts of um, video production production services to the Institute. Um, we've done a lot of work with OCW over the years and captured, I think, some of the, the more iconic, or at least I would like to think the more iconic content. Um, we got involved with uh, this as part of Open Learning, um, particularly because we have a large archive, a uh, large video archive, a lot of that being on uh, tape-based media. So meaning it is very much uh, in the analog format. Um, anyone can tell me what format this is? Peter? Umatic. Um, it's a <laughs> I, I had a sense Peter would know. Um, so um, this is uh, very much some of the content that is in our archive that has never seen the light of day or, or not since somebody had a Umatic deck to play it back on. Um, interestingly enough, it does actually say, uh, please, uh, please rewind at end of use um, to give you some idea of its age. Um, the what what we're looking to do um, with Filecoin is uh, take that um, and digitize all, a lot of that content, or if not all of that content. Um, that is no small task. Um, this has been uh, something that we've. Uh, this archive has been something that we've maintained um, for forty plus years. My predecessor uh, took on that um, task, even though it wasn't necessarily something that we had the funding to do. Um, so this has given us the opportunity to think about how we might do that, how this content might get out into the world again and might be shared. Um, we went back, or I went back and was uh, searching for some content to make a, a short video uh, to highlight some of the content that we have in the archive. Um, and the reason that I brought this is that um, this actually has no archive number. It was just sitting in a box in our archive. Um, and this particular thing is AI and knowledge-based expert systems for managers. Intro to artificial intelligence, AI as a field, scope and history from 1987. So no idea what that looks like. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure the last person who watched that. So we hope to uh, be able to take some of this content um, and, and get it back into the world. Um, uh, with that, um, there's about 32 to 4,000 uh, pieces of tape um, that we are looking to digitize. Um, I'll go into a little bit more about that in in my uh, conversation, in my um, update on the project. Um, but but we're very excited about uh, the possibility of, of bringing this content back to the world. Um, and with that. <laughs> The history of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is rich in both scientific accomplishments and personal achievements. Although it is one of the world's leading technological institutions, its real greatness lies in the people who are connected with it. I am honored by your wish that I should uh, take part in the discussions of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Let's do something really great together. Let's build something which is going to be just mind-boggling in its possibility. Let's build it together so that we can go on and build on top of it. You know, these science problems are tough, uh, but they're fun to work on. Uh, the jobs that are involved with them are, you know, you can have an impact. OpenCourseWare is a web-based program that will provide free access to primary materials for virtually every course at MIT. One could argue that OCW is the most important achievement that MIT has experienced, helped to create, put on the map in the last decade. Kismet is an anthropomorphic robotic head that is specialized for face-to-face -face interaction between humans and this robot. I still have a dream. My husband once said that the inseparable twin of racial injustice is economic injustice. So it is not for us a matter of having come a long, long way, but rather and instead, it is a matter of having still yet a long, long way to go. I think images uh, obviously always appear in a context and the way we uh, think about images is contextually driven. Dr. Adjutant, 
That looks very much like a, an ordinary camera. What keeps the water out from ruining the film? Well, this camera is uh, like an ordinary camera, except the case acts as a waterproof case. It was developed in uh, France by uh, Captain Jacques Cousteau. Dr. Edgerton has been adapting his electronic flash lamps to photograph another world, which is invisible to the naked eye, the world of the ocean depths. When George Washington, in the middle of the Revolutionary War, decided to wipe out the Iroquois civilization, which was in many ways more advanced than the uh, colonists, except in modes of warfare, uh, he succeeded. A whole lot of numerical linear algebra is built around working with orthonormal vectors, because they never get out of hand. They never overflow or underflow. We have decided to devote the course this year to a study of the space shuttle. Our first experiment was very simple. We popped subjects in the scanner, and we showed them pictures of faces and pictures of objects like these here. Meanwhile, we're scanning the subject's head as they're just looking at these pictures. How do we use computation to understand the world in which we live? So we have an approach that's very scalable. Uh, we're actually working on scaling this up to meters. I will be willing to predict with certainty that we will detect gravity waves. But it's a long haul and uh, it's not an easy project. I want to take off my academic hat and tell you things that I wish somebody had told me when I was graduating. Every one of you has ability in proportions that are enormous compared to what you believe and what you've ever used. Thank you. Uh, one, one thing um, that I do want to know is that Winston Churchill is, in fact, that actually is Winston Churchill. We didn't deep fake that or, or <laughs> use something else to create that. Um, that, was, that was, uh, you know, uh, something that happened. Uh, um, one of the things that's, um, that really stands out to me, um, aside from the joy of just getting to go back to the archive and poke around and find all sorts of interesting content, um, is that the archive, while is, I think, very important, um, you know, uh, as as a something that that should be out in the world, it's also really important in MIT's own history, and that's something that um, I don't think MIT does a particularly good job of um, thinking about uh, where it's been. Um, and so, you know, finding this content, finding you know things about AI from the '80s, um, can be so informative. And to be able to mine that and and find some of the the amazing content um, that we have is something that I'm really excited about, and and want to thank. Uh, uh, Peter Kaufman, who's helped uh, um, get us connected uh, ultimately to Filecoin and, and their support uh, for this project. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>